Well, doctor, today, in order to treat it, we have to understand it. How much do we understand about cancer right now? Probably understand a lot more, but we still don't. We, we still don't have the, the 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 real reason why we develop cancer. When you talk about cancer, you can have a stack of books that talk about cancer. Mm -hmm. When you talk about tuberculosis, you could have something like this, that it says that it's a bacteria of this type that stains acid fast uh, and, and alcohol fast. It gives you a number of ideas, but you can put it in one sentence. This is the bacteria that causes tuberculosis, period. If you can kill it, you can cure it. Where cancer comes from? How we develop? Nobody knows. But there's something that's a very important fact that, that is very obvious and that, that we know. Cancer didn't come from outside. It's not a bacteria. Mm -hmm. It's not a ba parasite. It's nothing that came from out of your body to, to haunt you, to, to damage you. It's something you did in your body that changed the biology of your body and you started creating these misbehaving cells. Furthermore, you have an immune system that should have a great surveillance uh, situation and it's going to locate all those abnormal cells, it's going to tag them, it's going to destroy them and it's going to get rid of the problem. That's how you and I are functioning today. But for whatever reason, this system fails and we start creating more of those abnormal cells. Mm. So they start growing and each and every cancer cell you have is human. That's something that we have, uh, uh, oncology has lost completely perspective of the fact that they are human cells. So whatever you do to kill them will kill a human cell, will kill a human, period. When we started using antibiotics, for example, antibiotics are very successful. Why? Because we are attacking fungi, we are attacking bacteria. What are those? Those are vegetables. They're vegetable cells. They have a complete different biology, a complete different metabolic cycle. We can kill a, a, a bacteria with penicillin and your body will not even know. I mean, if you want to kill yourself, never try penicillin. It's never going to give you any problem unless you're allergic to it, which is a total different thing. Mm. But penicillin is completely innocuous. So when we started using antibiotics, you can listen to the end, adramycin, bleomycin in the cancer drugs, mm. the ending tells you it's an antibiotic. We thought we could do the same thing we did with infections. No, we couldn't because we were killing the cancer cell, which is a human cell, so we're killing the human that has the cancer. See? Mm -hmm. We neglected the immune system. We never thought that the body has a way to fight it off, but for whatever reason, we are destroying it. What they're, one of those big reasons is nutrition, what we're doing with our food supply, what we're doing in our daily eating. We eat the wrong foods, huge amounts, uh, not enough. And even if you try to eat right, agricultural methods do not provide the nutrition they should have, uh, let alone that we tend to eat. If, if, you, if you make a list, you can make a list in, in your daily life, you're going to see that we now tend to eat the same thing all year round. You like mangoes, you can have mangoes year round, mm -hmm. even if you live in Alaska. Okay? Why? Because the food supply is that way today. So we eat what we like. We don't eat what we should. We never think what we should eat, which happened in the first half of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. I mean, your mother would give you foods that she thought were important because the winter was approaching or because spring was coming or because the heat was around. So she would prepare something fresh, some, something different. No, we now have steak, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all year round in huge amounts. So we're doing a lot of things that has changed our biology, and we're only talking 50 years. Mm -hmm. We're not talking generations. So our genetic condition has not been able to adjust. We're, I'm convinced that if we don't exterminate humankind, uh, very soon, at the rate we're going, uh, that probably in 10, 12 more generations, we're going to be adjusted 
to have the type of foods, the calorie intake that we have, and we're going to function better hmm. than the way we will function today. But at the rate we're going, we can think that every American is going to be diabetic by 2050. You're talking 40 years. Okay, you're not talking yeah. of of ages. You're just talking of only 50 years. Yeah. Okay, so that that is happening, and a lot of those things are are damaging. So if you want to to conquer cancer, you have to begin with those uh, conditions. You have to reinforce the body. You have to change the body, uh, the body's biology work, and you have to change the body will recognize and destroy cancer cells because. To me, that's the only way we can really kill it, mm -hmm. from within.